Today I'm going to talk about the Canadian growth stocks, in particular the TSX growth stocks, which have recently been pulled back from their recent highs. The TSX composite has gained about 15% year to date. I'm recording this on September 27th, 2024. And if you look back one year, the TSX composite index has gained 23.5%. That's an impressive return. Watch this video till the end as I'm going to present a spreadsheet on Google Sheets, which has a list of 38 stocks. This spreadsheet is available for you for free and you can actually customize it to your own needs and you can sort them out according to the P ratio or the pricing or the volume or in alphabetical order and I'm going to show you how to do that. Hello, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is David Das, a retired engineer and you're watching my YouTube channel Think and Retire. In this channel, I talk about building wealth and income from the stock market. If you find value in this video, please like and share. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so and press the bell icon so that you are notified whenever I upload new videos. I'm making this video based on a recommendation by one of our viewers in one of my recent video. And so thank you very much Rohit Krishnan 5097 for your feedback and recommending this video. So the question is, what are growth stocks? The growth stocks are companies that are growing at a faster rate than the average company in the same industry. They can be a source of immense wealth for investors if you can get in at the right time. But in my opinion, the biggest challenge is how to determine which companies are better than the others. Basically, these are the companies which are growing their revenues and earnings than the average companies in the same industry or the sector. Typically, they gain immense momentum because they offer something very innovative idea, a product or a service that no other businesses offer. They will sacrifice profitability to grow as quickly as possible. They will reinvest profits into the business rather than paying dividends to the shareholders. They will also have higher prices relative to their earnings because they will expect their earnings to grow in the future and at the time prices will stabilize. They may look expensive now, but over the long term, if you look back, you, the price may seem reasonable. One of the biggest challenges with these stocks are they are very volatile. If the company performs better than expected, the share price is soar. And on the other hand, when they disappoint, the share prices drop. Likewise, in the bull market, these stocks soar. Likewise, in the bear market, the growth stocks tend to take the hardest hit. So the question is how to choose the growth stocks. Number one is look at the trends. For example, Netflix. The Netflix became very popular because the cable prices started to go up and the blockbuster videos from where we used to rent videos, they started charging the late fees. Same thing with the better e-commerce experience with Amazon and Shopify. Number two, identify companies with the strong competitive advantages. For example, Apple. The number of users of Apple iPhone and iPad and Mac computers are growing. Number two, high switching costs. So if you have already established, for example, an e-commerce site on Shopify, I think it will be more expensive to switch to other platforms. Number three, low cost producers. For example, Walmart, they will sell toothpaste, for example, that's an essential item for a lower price so that they can get more people in to buy other products and services. Same thing with Costco. Number three is look for niche markets so that there's enough room to grow at the moment and in the long term, they become the market leaders. So the most important question is, should you invest in the growth stocks? It is ideal for long-term investors who have a three-year, five-year or 10-year investing window. Because with these stocks, we can have higher losses because of the volatility. If you're near retirement and looking for a short-term goal, investing in growth stocks may not be a wise decision because of the volatility of the stocks. In that case, it's much better to stay with blue chip companies or stable companies. So this is the spreadsheet that I was referring to. This is prepared in Google Sheets. And all the information, as you can see, is as of September 27, 2024. The market is currently open. And um, this is pretty user friendly. As I mentioned in the past, there are 38 stocks at the moment listed here. 
and I have provided the symbol, name, and everything else is automatically filled uh, from the information obtained from Google Finance. For example, if I go to this cell, and if you want to, for example, enter Enbridge, which is E and B, see all the information will be automatically filled based on the Enbridge information. This, uh, this spreadsheet is showing the symbol, name, price, the one year chart, the 52 week highs and lows, 12 month return, P ratio, EPS and the volume. Say for example, you want to sort the data from low price to earnings ratio to highest price to earnings ratio. So P is in column H. So let's select the data first. And then I will go to this one here, data, sort range, go to advanced, and we will sort as per column H from low P ratio to high P ratio. That means from A to Z. Now, once you do that, see all the information is now here and you can see the stocks with the lowest P ratio. And as you move down, the P ratios are increasing. Same thing you can do with the 12 month return. For example, 12 month return is in column G. So again, select the data range. Then you go to this tab here, go to sort range, advanced, and then you go to column G. And you are basically going from high to low, high return to low return. So we'll go from Z to A. So now you have a list of stocks from highest 12 month return to the lowest 12 month return. In my opinion, this uh, spreadsheet is very user friendly and you can add and delete stocks as you wish. You can have the spreadsheet for free. Please like the video and write a nice comment and I will get in touch with you. That's it for now. If you find value in this video, please like and share. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so and press the bell icon so that you are notified whenever I upload new video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Happy investing.